Do you find you have more responsibility or, I guess, how does your thinking change when you know the person you're playing is actually based on somebody real? Um, it, it's, a, it's an interesting one because I, I mean, I think it's important to look at the structure of Chicago as, as a piece of work, which is... I, it's it, uh, that's just an, a really fascinating thing in and of itself because so based on real people and real murderous row and that being a real thing um, the reporter who uh, covered all of the case all of the the um, trials then wrote a play called Chicago that then got turned into a film with Ginger Rogers called Roxy Hart that right. then got that's turned right. into a musical in the 70s and it didn't quite work it was like almost before it's time sort of thing mm. is, is sort of like the general thing and then well it was rare because for the 1970s it was it, it was full of it, it had a cynicism that you normally only saw in american cinema at the time right yeah so then that closed and then the revival has been going ever since so it kind of it's like it, it's had so many different incantations and you know things that it's it's kind of like knowing that Roxy Hart is based on a real person is fascinating, but she's far enough removed that I think I can kind of do whatever I want. Right, because you wouldn't well. want to be... I mean, it's interesting to know those things because they fire your imagination. Yeah, absolutely. What great advice to, yeah. to dip into what you find exciting. I mean, yeah. that's gold. But there's not enough there to actually hamstring you to say she has to be from Kentucky, so you yeah. don't have a brilliant Kentucky accent, yeah. all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah. 